Good day everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to install Microsoft Visual C++ on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now, Microsoft Visual C++ is very important to run several tasks and applications on your computer. You may get several messages, error messages, like you can see right now on my screen that says the code execution cannot proceed because the VC runtime 140.dll was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. But before that, if you would like to know that whether you have the Visual C++ on your computer or not, then what you can do, you can click on your Windows search, type appwiz.cpl, hit the enter key. And right now you will see all kind of application and program installed on my computer. But in the list here, I don't find Microsoft Visual C++. All right, so let's go ahead and install it. So what you will have to do, you will have to come to this website of Microsoft. And once you come here, you need to scroll down a bit and you will find the architecture of the computer, the link and the note. Now, depending, you are using the ARM computer, 32-bit, 64-bit. Accordingly, you have to download it. All right, so if you are not sure that what kind of architecture you're using, so you can click on your Windows search again, type system choose system information from the suggestion and here in the system type you will find the x64 so that means that i'm using the 64 bit but if it's x86 then it means you are using a 32 bit version so now if i'm using 64 bit i will go and click on this link and the downloading will be started once it downloaded you have to click on the downloaded file check the agreement then you have to click on install click on yes and the installation will now be started. Then I have to click on close and I can close everything now. And now if I go back and click on Windows search and type appwiz.cpl again and hit the enter key. So now you can see the Visual C++ is available on my computer. So now it's recommended that after installing it, you should go ahead and restart your computer. And after that, the Visual C++ will be successfully installed and you won't be getting any kind of error message related to C++. Now, in case still, if you have the problem, so what you can do, you can also download the ARM64 one and X86 one as well. All right, so you can go ahead and download all three of them and again, restart your PC. And if there is any problem related to Visual C++, that will be surely fixed. So that's all guys for today's short video and hopefully this will work for you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.